All right, football fans, unfortunately, have been hearing a lot about concussions this season. So, uh, most recently, Miami Dolphins quarterback, Tua. Oh, I was supposed to set this up for you. Oh, I was going to say yeah, his last name. Can you name. say his last name? Tago Viola? <laughs> Tua Tonga Vailoa okay, S- sustained uh, his third diagnosed concussion after a collision just a few weeks oh. ago. And it was super, super scary. Shoot. Okay, so even student athletes are at risk to suffer concussions. Many parents out there know this. Leif Sundberg with Entira Family Clinics joins us today to break down these traumatic brain injuries. Mm-hmm. And that, is, you know, that sounds scary. I mm-hmm. think people sort of think like concussion, oh, it's a concussion. But it is, in fact, a traumatic brain injury. Uh, yes, it is. You know, typical concussions are known as mild TBIs or uh, traumatic brain injuries, but you know, make note that there's nothing mild about it. Right. Yeah, no, not at all. So b- this is the, the prime time that we talk about mm-hmm. it because football is kind of like the number one culprit, but there are other athletes in a lot of sports that get concussions as yeah. well. So just how prevalent are concussions when you just look at youth sports and just sports overall? Yeah, so a few quick facts on concussions. Um, around 3.8 million concussions occur annually. And around 5 to 10% of athletes will experience a concussion in a given year. Boy. Um, but this is usually underreported because many concussions go you know, undiagnosed, this uh, diagnosed, underreported. And because of that, mismanagement can lead to long-term consequences for these individuals. Do people have an idea? They think, oh, if I got knocked out, I got a concussion. But mm-hmm. if I didn't lose consciousness, then it wasn't a concussion. Right. So people often assume concussion means loss of consciousness. No, you can have a concussion without loss of consciousness and a concussion with loss of consciousness. Still considered a mild TBI, but the symptoms and the presentation is going to be a little bit different. What's so, post-concussive syndrome? Sorry, Ben. So yeah, that's another term that gets thrown around. So post concussive syndrome is when concussion symptoms typically last a little bit longer than you would typically you know, expect. Hmm. Yeah, so the, the, the levels of concussion, and I think mm-hmm. this is where a lot of it gets undiagnosed, mm-hmm. and it does get a little bit hazy for, for parents and for kids out there. You know, we obviously know the, you know, the, the Tua Tunga Vailoa video, if we had played the whole thing, I mean, he, he, he like seized, yep. I mean, his oh. fingers yep. curled up. I mean, oh. very, very uh, you know, apparent that very obvious that he had a concussion. But a lot of kids, they, they might not even, they're not having that symptom. They might be a little bit dizzy, mm-hmm. maybe a slight headache. It's like, when is it a concussion versus just maybe something else? So concussions themselves, you can have symptoms immediately. You saw Tua, he had the fencing p- p- posture, which is classic for a concussion. But symptoms themselves can even take a couple days to come on. Symptoms classically associated with concussions, we think of headache, confusion, concentration issues in school, balance issues, sensitivity to noise, vision issues. But then there's some other symptoms too that you know, may not be quite as well, uh, well versed, where you might be irritable, anxiety, and you might have lock, loss, of, loss of interest in activities and sleep issues. Well, and that is so hard to attribute to that one event because, mm-hmm. I mean, think about all of the complicated factors mm-hmm. in life that can lead to those symptoms. So boys football, girls soccer, and boys ice hockey are the top three sports with the highest concussion rates. Yes. So you just named, like, all of the youth in the state <laughs> of <Minnesota. laughs> Especially in the fall of boys football and uh, girls soccer going on right now, concussions are you know, at their peak in yes. the season. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so say this happens mm-hmm. and you have a, a concussion situation, what's the initial treatment? What do you do right away? You know, I like to promote uh, initial brain rest for the first 24 to 48 hours. And brain rest is a pretty nonspecific term. Oftentimes I tell my athletes this and they think, oh, I'm going to go watch TV. That's brain rest. No, TV is very stimulating uh, stimulating towards the uh, eyes. So I like to recommend things such as soothing music, puzzles, coloring, slow walks, uh, podcasts, as long as it's not like a murder mystery podcast. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, um, and then reassessing the symptoms after. And the hope is that they can transition back to school and then do the return to play protocol um, uh, guided by the athletic trainer, coaches, and their medical provider. Um, and then I always like to say school comes before sport. Yeah. Right. So you get these athletes that try to force themselves through school, well, they're still having symptoms in the cafeteria in the school and the uh, classrooms, and they're not ready to go to the field yet. Right. I wanted to bring up the, the idea and the, the evolution of some of the equipment. Mm-hmm. Um, there are these new guardian caps that a lot of colleges, and you know, there's one NFL uh, running back out of, out of Indianapolis mm-hmm. that was wearing them during the preseason game, not just in practice, but like, so how do parents go shopping for the best equipment to prevent these concussions, especially, specifically football? Yeah. And we're kind of in a moment right now where there's a lot of new technologies out there. Yeah. And it is a serious problem, 
but there's still a lot to be determined as far as, hey, what's the gold standard, okay? And you hear a lot about, hey, this is recommended. Um, I would just have an honest, open conversation with someone who is well-versed in concussions, whether that's you know, a family practice provider or an orthopedic sports medicine specialist who can maybe guide the parents um, onto what they should be looking for. So I will give some, I'm obviously not a medical doctor. <laughs> I have no really? degree in physics <laughs> or engineering. You've been fooling me. But my, <laughs> my own personal experience, I would, I would suggest to all of you parents out there and for the kids, find the lightest, safest helmet. Mm -hmm. Because I don't understand, because to me it's a little bit of a common sense. A lot of times concussions are not so, so much the initial impact. Right. It's the whiplash effect. Yeah. That's why we have like girls soccer, stuff mm -hmm. like this. It's the fall to the ground and then your head hits the ground because your neck is not strong enough mm -hmm. to support the energy that's been provided. So I look at these concussion helmets and they're heavy. Mm -hmm. they're, hev they're heavier than the old school helmet that I played with. Right. And these are supposed to be safer, but you're like, you're putting these, this heavy helmet on a little kid that has a neck this big, it can't support the extra weight on their head. So that, I don't understand that. So I would just say the lightest, safest rated helmet is probably the best helmet. Now Ben can write prescriptions. There you go. With <laughs> talk like that, exactly. for sure. Yes. That's helpful I don't know. info. That's good so advice. It's physics. You've got a heavy object at the top, loose neck, it's going to be a little bit more likely to have this whiplash right. type mm -hmm. of uh, experience. Um, but, you know, these helmets themselves go under, you know, scrutiny, and we're still figuring it out. So I don't have my recommendations, yeah. but I hope to in a few years. Oh, yeah. Dr. Sundberg, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you Great so much. Great to see you, Leaf. We appreciate it. All right, if you don't want to learn more about Entire Family Clinics, call them at 651-788-4444 or visit EntireFamilyClinics.com. Lots of good stuff there. You know